are some artifacts from a people that lived here, I don't know, 2,000 years ago on up to shortly after the Spanish arrived. Actually, they lasted until about the 1700s. But they were called the Calusa. Um, pretty interesting culture. Well, to give you an example, when the Spanish arrived in the form of Ponce de Leon in the 1500s, about 80 Calusa war canoes breeded them. And it was right in this immediate area. Um, ended up leaving, going back to Cuba. Eight years later, um, based on that initial warm reception, they returned to start a settlement here with 500 soldiers, settlers, um, again, attacked by the Calusa and ambushed. And Ponce de Leon was killed. He was shot in the thigh with an arrow, and they retreated back to Cuba again. Um, so hostile, warlike people, but they happened to arrive right when they were at the peak of their power. And the Calusa, they had tribes on the other coast paying tribute to them. They had tribes all the way down the Keys and all the way up to Lake Okeechobee paying tribute to them and pretty much under their control. Um, they're unique in that you have like uh, a hereditary king, priest, um, noble class, commoners, and even holding slaves. The kind of society you'd expect to associate with agriculture where you'd have a surplus to support that unproductive class, but these guys didn't have agriculture. They just did it based on what they could get from a pretty rich estuarine environment. So, for example, uh, you'll find these in a lot of the archaeological sites. They're little shells they would use to weight down the bottom of nets made out of palm fibers. With the same sort of net knots, by the way, that are used by fishermen today. Um, and then the tops they could float with cypress pegs, and then say um, like a little opening like that they could stretch it across, and as the tide went out, they fish. fish. Um, these then another kind of unique thing about them is you find throughout Florida these giant public works projects where literally tens of thousands to millions of these shells would be piled up into these huge shell mounds covering acres, and they have temple com temple complexes built on top of these and. Um, Canals running through entire islands. I mean, pretty huge public works projects. Um, more, more on the kind of stuff you think about when you think about the Aztecs and the Incas, you know. Um, but on some of these sites, you can find artifacts of the tools they used. I added the handle, obviously, but this would have been a pretty sharp axe at one point. Um, you know, cutting down a tree or say you're making a dugout canoe, hacking away at the center. Uh, and then, smaller, this is the top of a fighting conch, a little hammer. These lightning wokes, about two pounds of meat in them, you crack a hole right where the muscle attaches to it and get it out, and you get a pretty good meal. And again, this used to be a lot more abundant, and they seriously make millions of these. And some of them are cut away, and they use them as cups, or use them for cooking. This is the center of one that was sharpened and used as an awl to work hides and stuff like that. Um, the masks represent, there was a pretty important thing on Marco Island in the late 1800s, and they pull these wooden masks, masks out of the, this muck, and they're basically disintegrating almost immediately. But he did have an artist to paint them as they were taking them out. Um, and some of the masks that did survive are in the Smithsonian and some museums in Pennsylvania. They're pretty elaborate. Um, the Spanish made several attempts to hurt them to Catholicism with zero luck. Um, First of all, they had they had advance notice of the Spanish arriving. The Spanish had done a pretty serious number on Cuba, and Indians from there had um, the word had come about how they operate, so they weren't too hospitable for them. But um, but the St Spanish still had several mission attempts where they would come and try to um, convert them, and all of them ended up in disaster. I'll give you one last story to show you how powerful they were. So the Spanish are up in St. Augustine, they have a fort, they have a series of missions across northern Florida. And uh, if you were a Spanish ship, one of the treasure ships coming to, from the New World back to Spain, a lot of them sank around here. And the Calusa would capture the soldiers, take the gold, distribute it that they wanted, but they usually killed the soldiers as part of a human sacrifice or, um, or just hold them as slaves. So the Spanish governor in, uh, gets some Tamukan Indians to guide him, um, some of his representatives down to negotiate ransom for some of these sailors that they were holding. And as they're going through Florida, tribes are meeting them along the way and saying, right, nice to meet you, please turn back. If the Calusa let you know, let them know that we let you through our territory to get to them, they will kill us. And one tribe after another, and they kept the, ignoring them and moving on, and finally after the third tribe implored them, the uh, Tamukan guides abandoned the Spanish. I guess the Spanish 
looking around. <laughs> like, do you know where you are? They left. They ended up abandoning the mission and going back. So they were pretty hardcore. Um, people, very warlike. Some of their weapons were pretty gruesome. You know, shark, shark's teeth mounted on them yeah. and stuff like that. But now the, they are, there, are no, there are no descendants of the um, Palooza left. Um, or really any of the uh, original tribes uh, that developed in Florida. What happened when the Spanish missions collapsed, Creek Indians, armed with rifles from uh, English settlers, started moving into Florida and doing slave raids on the local Indians. Trade them for more guns with the English and move their way down. Wiped out the entire population of South Florida, which was already weakened from European diseases. And the last 280 native um, Indians in Palooza actually got on a boat with the Spanish help to head to Cuba. And most of them died from European diseases once they arrived there. 